<laughs> What's up, YouTube? Reverend Bob here. So what are we going to get ourselves into today? Well, I just got a box in. I sent some Buffalo Nickels off to ANAC. And I got a lot of them. I don't know what grades they are or anything like that. But <clears throat> I've been using them for many years. And pretty much they're within a grade or so. There's some circumstances where you get in a rush. Or <clears throat> you know, you get a new guy in, in the, uh, the grading circuit. They hire him in and, you know, he hasn't seasoned himself. So I understand that sometimes it's just not to my specifications of what the grading should be on a specific coin. Now, I ain't no pro on no nickels. I know a lot about Morgans. I've been, I've been studying Morgans for a long time. And, and pennies. But sometimes even I get them wrong, you know. Sometimes people see something that's there, and sometimes people see something that isn't there. <clears throat> and it's very subjective, so... But I noticed that on our channels, you know, my friends and family, there hasn't been a lot of unboxing. So I want to do one today for you. I just got it in. So here we go. Let me turn you down here so that you can see this box. And see what we get. Let me get you guys focused in here. All right. I think you're pretty good, huh? Let's see what's going on here? All right. <clears throat> And here we go. Do 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 do. Ba 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 da ba. Da 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 da. What will we get? Survey says past the bottom all the way around. All right. Here we go. I hope you guys' day's going well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know, I gotta say that. I'm trying to get, <coughs> trying to get a over a thousand so I can get monetized. When I do, I can give more stuff away. You know, maybe do some of these, send some coins away, and give some coins away. You know, I just can't afford to do it, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, I'd like to be able to help everybody out and give them some freebies and stuff. I, I've been doing it, but it's getting tight, you know? I mean, let's face it. I mean, I'm trying to spread the love. <laughs> Sometimes it's just difficult. So, here we go. Let's see what we got going on here. Here's a list. Oh boy. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, seven. Seven out of twenty. We're either scratched, corroded, cleaned. So let's see. We got one, two, three, four scratched, one corroded, and two cleaned out of 20 coins. That's pretty good, actually. Because when I sent this off, uh, guys, I sent it off to see what to look for in nickels. Um... I never really took on the nickel thing. But in order to do that, I got to have something in my mind to know when I look at the coin. Um, what is it that they're looking at? You know, do I agree with it or don't I agree with it? So, let's find it. <coughs> so, let's start from the front. What do we got here? We got that? Can you guys see that? No? Yeah? Maybe? Let's get a little more light on the subject here. 
Alright. We got here is a 1923. Good for details. Uh, scratched. Alright. Well, I guess I can agree with that. You guys see that? Yeah. But what we do know is it's real. So upside down in the box. Next up, what do we got here? 1924 VG8. Very good eight. That's a nice looking coin, huh? Very good. Very good. You guys see that? Very good eight. It's not a bad looking coin. Very good eight. All right. Upside down. All right, next up on the coins are right and tight. What do we got here? We got a good six, 1929. Not bad. All right, what do we got back here? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Huh? Okay, good six. Next up, uh, 1925, good six. Good six. Not bad, huh? Now you're saying, oh, well, they're not top notch look guys everybody collects different grade levels too it's not just a top tier now, you know <laughs> some people think that but that's not the case okay you have all different tiers of people collecting some people collect a specific tier that's what they can afford or that's what they like okay sometimes new coins are difficult to grade all right next up very good eight. A little corrosion. Oh, I see it on the top of his head right there. I see it. But still a very good coin. Now, guys, I can easily clean that stuff. I know how to. I've been doing it for years. But I don't. You know? I don't. I don't clean it. It's a nickel, right? It's an old nickel, and it looks good. I like the hue of it, right? It lets it stand out. Makes it look like it's old, which it is old. So, anyway. So, very good eight. All right. Next up. Very good ten. Scratched. Well. Oh, right. I don't really see the scratch. Huh. Let's take a look here. And see what they're talking about. Let's wire out of here. Yeah, you guys can probably see a little bit of it, but I mean, it's an old coin. It's going to have a few scratches. I mean, I 
I don't know. Maybe the guy was having a scratch day. Whatever. Here you go, guys. Straight a coin. Still a VG10. Very good 10. Alright. Well, next. What do we got going on here? Cleaned. Very good 10. Very good to Now here's the thing about clean coins, guys. You know, these grading companies, they clean their coins, and then they don't mark them cleaned. And some of them do. Some of them you send off to have them restored, and they say clean. Well, you're supposed to restore the coin. Not put cleaned on it. I mean, is that really permissible? When you send your coin out? Some of these coins, you know, I think they look nice clean. Still a nice looking coin. Who cares, right? It's a nice looking coin. Looks cool. The grades in there. Very good 10. Right? So it's a very good coin. Who cares if it's clean? Humbug to that, right? All right, what do we got next? Very good 10. 1929S. 1929S. It's a nice looking coin. Get you in there. Let's flip it over. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? You guys see that? Anyway, it's a nice coin. I mean, they always look better in person, guys. All right. Let's see. What do we got next? Good six. 1929. Good six. Anyway, not bad. What we got here? Very good 10, 1930. Very good 10, 1930. Alright, not bad, huh? Next up. Uh, fine. 12. Oh, yeah. Fine 12, 1935. Fine 12. Fine 12. What do we got next? 1935D. Very good. 10. Very good 10. Nice coin. Next, uh, 1935S. Extra fine 45. Scratch. Well, I see a little scratch, but who cares? Extra fine 45, guys. That's a nice looking coin. Tilt you up a little bit and get a little bit of a All 
Not mad coin, yeah. Mad scratch. Very fine 20, 1936. 1936, very fine 20. You know, these are nice coins, guys. I mean, I like them. Cool. Uh, fine 15, 1936D. 1936D. Okay, guys, you see something weird there? Okay, you see his head? Not straight. All right? Check this out. What did they miss? Don't you think that buffalo's a little offset? Whoops. That's for the towel, I guess. See the coin? Watch me turn it. Press is a little offset, ain't it? Off centered. Huh. What a trip. Anyway, fine fifteen. Next up. Fine twelve, nineteen thirty six S. Fine twelve. Next up, extra fine, 45, cleaned. Oh, I'll be damned. All the nice ones are always cleaned. 1937. Well, who cares? Look at this bad boy. Huh? Look at that. That's a nice looking coin. What I like about Enac is, regardless of if it's clean, the scratch, or whatever, they give you a grade. You know, if you're after a grade, who cares about the scratches? Look, if you got a scratch, the thing has been moving around, okay? Somebody loved it. Somebody used it. Somebody had it in their pocket. Who knows who had it, right? I mean, not all coins of war are the same, right? Some coins got a little more love than the others. That's just the way I see it. We got a fine 12 scratched, 1937. Fine 12 scratched. Well, I got a few scratches on me too, and I'm old. So, there you go. <laughs> I'm sure there's a few of you out there in the YouTube world do too, right? You get old, you get scratched. I mean, that's the way it is, man. All right, what do we got here? 1930S. Good. So it's good. 1930S, good. Yeah, that other one being rotated really got me intrigued. So, 1930S. And the last one. Very fine. 35. 1937D. This one had a VAM in it, but I didn't put it down, so... It'll be a little longer of a video, but 
Sorry, guys, but I figured I'd show him what. Wait a minute, is that? No, he ain't rotated. Let me just ro rotate a little bit. Anyways, that's a nice looking coin, huh? And that's it, guys. That's all of them. That's all the coins. I mean, good to go. So 20 coins. Bam. One. Oops. Two. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, oops, <laughs> fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, and Swanzik. Twenty. Twenty of them bad boys. Anyway, that was fun. Quick little review. I mean, uh, maybe one of these days I'll go through these if you want. Let me know. We'll put them under the microscope and, uh, you know, check them out. See what we see, you know. This is a new holder for doing my videos, so. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell button for notifications. Um, want me to do something? Let me uh, let me know, you know. So put something down in the comment section. I'm always up to something. Not just coins. Not just guitars. You'd be surprised what I got. I got a lot of things, right? What I would like to do is start doing some stuff on how they do these. You know, how good of a job do they do these coppers, right? I mean, coppers going up in price, guys. I mean, they are. So maybe we'll do a review on that. Put some of them under the microscope. All right, guys. Love you. Take care. God bless. Hope to see you next time. And remember, be good to yourself and be good to others. Reverend Bob's out. Out of here.